We've arrived at the first fall. Wow. It's definitely been a lot of rainfall. We're in the Ingleton Waterfall Trail. For our mini honeymoon. <laughs> mini moon. Mini moon. And guess who's forgotten the ring? Yep. Yeah, bit annoyed about that. So the plan for today was to come and do the Ingleton Waterfall Trail and then camp at the Gordale Scar campsite. I thought that'd be quite a nice place to wake up to. But we've just formed the campsite and we were greeted with an answer machine that said the campsite's closed which is a shame because it is a pretty campsite so we've managed to get in touch with a lady from the off-grid camp website just outside Sedba, is it Sedba? not far from us anyway and uh, we've booked a spot up there so once we've done the, the trail We'll make our way up there and set up camp. Our little honeymoon camping trip. Arrived at the first fall, Pecker Falls. Wow, it's definitely been a lot of rainfall. What do you think, Danny? <laughs> That's a stupid question like that It's not a stupid question. Is it a nice waterfall? Yeah, it's lovely. <laughs> We're going down this path. Over there. I used to come here as a kid and that used to be an ice cream shop but now that's at the top on the lane at the top so yeah been here many a time still amazing probably the best we've seen it today 
with all the rain that we've had it's uh, got the, the waterfalls in full flow fantastic Having a romantic brew by the is it Thornton Falls? Thornton Falls, I think it's called. We we're just seeing how this is created from thousands of years of erosion. Spectacular. That is the first part of the trail walk done. We are now heading up to the top road where there is an ice cream van waiting and we're getting an ice cream. Danielle's looking forward to an ice cream. Even though it's bloody freezing, we're getting an ice cream because that's tradition. Walking along the top road after we've had our ice creams, you can see in the distance is that mountain there is Ingleborough, which is one of the Yorkshire Three Peaks. And then as we crest this little bit of a hill here, you start to make your way down, and uh, you see over the over the valley is White Scar Caves, a very famous cave in. Uh, thing <laughs> yeah just over that that there is white scar caves whoa that's crazy this whole area is well known for caves under the limestone rocks the wind's picking up which isn't good for tonight hopefully a little bit more sheltered from the wind. Last time we went camping in the roof tent was horrendous, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Very, very windy, so hopefully we don't have another experience like that.
Well that was eventful, <laughs> field is really really boggy and I've tried not to damage too much of the field. Yeah, we tried a couple of routes and the one that Danielle suggested was obviously the best. So uh, I'll hear about that while we're having tea now. But yeah, this is um, Castle Howe. Um, I think it's called Castle Howe Farm in the Howe Gills near Sedba. And what a fantastic spot. This is going to be lovely in the morning. You can't see much behind me, but when I pan the camera around. Look at that. That is our view for the evening. Fantastic. I might even get the drone out and do a little flyover. Yeah, we're just going to get the fire going now and then we can get it all nice and hot and ready for tea. We're having steak on the fire tonight. Yeah, this field is really boggy. I'll have to uh, have a bit of a wander and push some divots back in and apologise to uh, Jane tomorrow. Yeah, that's where mud tyres would have come in handy. But I would have mangled all the the field up so yeah it's not too bad it's not horrendous <laughs> we have fire or is that toilet paper it's toilet paper for now toilet paper fire well we're all set up we'll do a little bit of a walk around at the camp <laughs> the rain started so we got everything out quick and got the fire started danielle got the fire started didn't you super <laughs> fire starter over here fire's going So I'll let that die down in a bit and uh, get the steak on it. We've got the awning out. And the tent. Yeah, I've had to chuck the wheels up a little bit because we are on a hill. What a nightmare getting parked up here. Just so soft. But yeah, we're gonna get some drinks flowing. Yes. Let's get snuggled up and start some tea.
So after a wet and windy night we decided to make a quick coffee and head home. Thank you very much for watching, hope that you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.